What is up guys, here we are today with another tutorial regarding custom avatars mod. Now I know before I told you guys in my previous tutorials that you had to wait for custom avatars to be uploaded to Mod Assistant like with every other mod when a new Beat Saber update drops. Well, guess what, you now have to download it manually. Yes, it's unfortunate. Anyways, I will show you how to get it installed, download avatars, and I'll explain the reason why you now have to. Let's go. First, you will need to download two zip files called Dynamic Open BR and BSaber Custom Avatars. The links will be down below in the description. Open them both and always make sure that you download the most recent release. Once you've downloaded them, you will want to open a file path folder that goes straight to your Beat Saber folder. I hope you guys know where that is as that was part of the whole purchasing and installing process of Beat Saber. If not, don't worry, I know how to find them whether you bought them in Steam or Oculus. For Oculus, open it up, go to library, click the three dots bottom right of the game, select details, copy location, and paste it into the file folder. For Steam, open it up, go to the library, right click on the game and select properties. Under local file, hit browse local files, copy the file, path, and paste it into the file folder. Another way to get your BSaber folder is open up Mod Assistant, go to your options tab and click open folder. I'm assuming you guys already downloaded and installed Mod Assistant and if you haven't, I will have a tutorial link for how to do that in the description. Also, make sure you have all these boxes checked, especially under one-click installs and the file path going straight into your Beat Saber folder. Now that you figured it out, keep the Beat Saber folder path to one side and open up both Dynamic Open VR and the Beat Saber custom avatar file. In the Dynamic Open VR release folder, just drag Dynamic Open VR folder into the Beat Saber folder. Next, enter into both libs of each folder, copy the DLL file over to the main folder. Repeat the same steps with the plugins folder. Open from both sources and transfer the DLL file. Moving on to the custom avatars release folder. If you haven't downloaded any avatars before, then you can go ahead and drop this folder into the main folder. If you already have a custom avatars folder filled with avatars, then all you have to do is open the custom avatars folder in the secondary folder, highlight all files and just drop them inside your existing folder in the main folder. This step might not be necessary, but just to be safe in case the other files are connected with them, you should do this. You will get notified to replace the same existing files that have the same name and just click OK. Go to Dynamic Open VR in both the secondary and main folder. Copy all content within actions and binding into the main folder by opening them up and transferring the DLL. Once that is done, you should be all set to play your avatars, but wait, I need avatars. You can get avatars by going to bsaber.com and under plugins tab, click on avatar. There's a variety of avatars you can choose from. Browse through them, or even search and see if there is a specific avatar you will like. Once you have chosen, you can click on install if you check mark the one click install feature, like I said in the options tab of mod assistant. From there, you can hop into Beat Saber, go to home page, look left, see custom avatars, click on it, and your avatars will be there. For all you Beat Sabers that want to record your avatars and upload gameplays onto your YouTube, you can do so by using Camera Plus mod, which I did a tutorial on, link in the description of how to use it. As for recording it, I just simply use OBS Studio, which is free and easy to use. If you made it this far, congrats, here's the reason why now you have to install custom avatars mod manually. After digging into why it hasn't appeared for quite a while in mod assistant through the modding the community's discord, I came across a user by the name Pro -U -L 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 -Pro -L -L I, I, I'm sorry if I just butchered that name, but like many knowledgeable BSaber compatriots, they told me this. Until it gets rid of the dynamic open VR requirement or get a lot of improvement, then I don't think it can be uploaded to Mod Assistant. I don't think it will. Dynamic open VR requires Oculus user who runs Steam VR to enable VR mode and it cannot do it alone. This means it's not equal to all users. 
From that statement, since it's not equal to all users, unlike the mods you already find in Mod Assistant, it will not appear, henceforth the manual download. Another thing they said is, Windows Mixed Reality users currently have to install an extra binding file, which isn't in Beta 4, but will be in Beta 5. The file link for this will be in the description. Copy BeatSaber Holographic Controller JSON file to the Dynamic Open VR bindings folder in your BeatSaber installation folder. Thank you so much, Pro ULXS. That is all. I hope this helped you guys a lot. Like, comment, and subscribe for more future content. And thank you to all those that gave me encouraging words for all the videos that I have done. My next goal is 200 subs, so let's get to it. Follow my Twitter for the latest updates for my next video. All social links down below. Alright guys, peace out.